Okay, let's talk about the star geometry exam. So if you're watching this video, I assume you're a high school student in the state of Texas and you're preparing to take the star geometry exam just by virtue of you watching this video. So that's excellent because it, uh, it shows me and it shows you that you're taking this exam seriously as you should because these star exams in Texas have real impact on your, your record. Okay, I don't know exactly how it influences your graduation uh, requirements, but it does have a bearing on that. So all these exams you want to take serious. And just in case you didn't know, the STAR uh, stands for State of Texas Assessment of Academic Readiness uh, Exams. Okay, so that's what this is. And if you've been going to school in Texas for a while, you've already encountered uh, these STAR exams. So um, again, clearly you're taking it serious as you should. So what we're going to be doing here is taking a look at a practice problem that should be able to handle pretty easily uh, if you're fully prepared for the star geometry exam. So we'll get to this problem here in a second, but let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching for several years, and over those years I've constructed many online math courses to include a star geometry math prep course. Um, very, very comprehensive. I've taught this course for several years. So, um, you know, I know what, you know, I know what basically these tests or your teacher, you know, what they're trying to get you or verify, um, you know, on these tests, the things that they want you to, you know, hopefully you learn. Okay. There's, there's things in geometry, high school level geometry that are really, really important in your overall math education, especially at the high school level. So anyways, uh, with that being said, I'm going to leave a link to my star uh, geometry and math prep course in the description of this video if that's something you want to check out. But let's get to this problem here. Okay, so here I have a right triangle. Okay, you can see this, uh, the lengths of the sides are 3, 4, and 5. And I have an angle down here. It's angle X. Okay, so it's X degrees, this little angle in the corner. And I'd like you to find the tangent of angle X. Okay, don't use your calculator, nothing like that. Just use your brain and your memory. Okay, and go ahead and do that. So I'm going to give you a hint here in a second. Um, if you don't want to hear the hint, just pause the video and go ahead and do the problem. If you think you need a little bit of a hint, I'm going to give it to you now, and then I'm going to solve this problem. All right, so here is the hint, okay? It may not mean much to you, but hopefully it does, okay? So it's SOKATOA, all right? SOKATOA, and that's an acronym. Uh, most teachers, most books are going to give you some sort of memory aid, and I like to, uh, I've always uh, learned it and teach it as SOKATOA. So if this doesn't mean anything to you, well, I can't give you any more of a hint than that, okay? But <laughs> hopefully uh, you remember uh, what SOH, CAH, and TOA mean when we're talking about uh, tangent, etc. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and get into this problem now and solve it. And uh, before I do so, let's talk a little bit about what's going on here. So I had the SOCA TOA, but really we're talking about sine, cosine, and tangent. And what this is, this is basic right angle trigonometry, okay? So this is stuff that you learn in uh, geometry, okay? You start learning trigonometry, which is the uh, study of angles and sides, etc. But we start off, when you start learning about trigonometry, you have to first master basic right angle trigonometry, and what uh, these things are, sine, cosine, and tangent, they're ratios of the lengths of sides of right triangles, okay? So we're comparing two sides. So um, so the tangent of this particular angle is going to be some sort of ratio, uh, a fraction, if you will, of two sides, a fraction that's made up of two sides of the length of a right triangle, okay? Now, let's go ahead and just get into what this so katoa means, okay? So we have so, so the sine is equal to the O and H is the opposite over the hypotenuse. The ka or the cosine is equal to 
cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, and then TOA, okay, the tangent is equal to opposite over the adjacent. So now we have to just figure out what is opposite, what is adjacent, what's hypotenuse. Okay, so all you out there know that uh, in a right triangle, the longest side is always the hypotenuse, okay? Now, when we look at this angle, okay, what's the side that's opposite of that angle? Well, hopefully, you know, you would be looking at this side. That's the side that's opposite. So this would be our O. And the side that's adjacent is the side that connects to that angle. So this is the adjacent side, okay? So knowing that the tangent, by definition, the tangent of an angle, okay, any angle, x degree, is going to be that's opposite over adjacent, okay, sides, okay, relative to where that angle is located. So the tangent of angle X in this situation is going to be what? Well, it's opposite. The opposite side of this triangle is going to be uh, 3, okay, with respect to that angle there. And the adjacent side is 4, all right? So that's it. So what's the tangent of angle X in this triangle? 3 fourths, all right? So if you got that right, um, without uh, the need of any hints, well, that's pretty good, okay? So uh, congratulations on that. Now, this is all just very fundamental, basic right triangle stuff. Of course, the problems can get more complicated. You need to know a lot more than just this, but this is just the beginnings of right triangle trigonometry. Now, if you didn't get this right, uh, even with the hint, don't panic, okay? Just use this as feedback in terms of, hey, you need to go back and, and study this stuff, all right? So. In most courses, and I'm sure in Texas, when you study geometry, you're going to be learning basic uh, uh, right angle trigonometry. Okay, it's like the introduction to trigonometry. So uh, you probably also are, are going to be doing like the arc functions like this. Okay, this should mean something to you. But I don't want to go off on too many tangents. Now, this is just basic right triangle trigonometry within geometry, but there's so many other topics uh, that you learn in geometry that you got to be, you know, ready for, you know, when you take the star geometry exam, okay? Things like circles, uh, quadrilaterals, polygons, parallel lines, transversals, etc. So, okay, again, you know, uh, you, you have to be fully ready on a lot of different uh, topics within geometry to do well on the star geometry exam. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. So anytime I do a video like this, I like to stress to those of you out there, um, always start, you know, always focus on what your teacher is telling you, okay? So they're going to be the most up-to-date and informed um, on what's going on with these tests. So listen to your teacher, take full advantage of your teacher. They're there to help you. Okay. But if you need something beyond, uh, the classroom, like a tutor or something like that, that's not, unco not uncommon. A course like my star geometry, um, uh, prep course could really benefit you. All my courses have taken me years to uh, construct. So very, very powerful, very comprehensive. Again, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video. Um, if you're new to my YouTube channel, I've been on YouTube for at least the time of this video for a good 12 years, and I literally have hundreds of videos uh, on my channel now that can help you on the STAR geometry exam, so you might want to check that out. And I'm posting stuff all the time, so hopefully consider subscribing. If you enjoyed the video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up, and leave me some feedback. Uh, how did you like geometry? Um, did you like it? Did you not like it? Uh, typical responses for those of you that don't like it, or maybe you do like it, is not many students enjoy the parts of geometry that have to do with proving stuff, like, you know, logical deduction, where you have to do a proof. I'm assuming that you've done some of those proofs in there, prove this and whatnot. Most students don't like that. <laughs> they find it difficult, and it is it is a little difficult, okay? Because you're you're you know you're remembering all these postulates, theorems, properties, all this stuff. Um, and one thing too, as I speak about this, don't try to memorize, wrote memorize every single postulate and theorem in the course. That's not going to be necessary. What you have to know though is the um, is the main ideas behind uh, the key uh, postulates and theorems that you've learned. Okay. 
So that's where I think a lot of students have difficulty in geometry that they're trying to, you know, you've learned all these postulates and theorems and properties that you're trying to memorize them. Don't do that, okay? At least not word by word. What you have to do is just know their application, et cetera. So that's why taking good notes and studying in advance is so important. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best on the STAR Geometry exam and all your other academic adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.